Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are talking about a movie I saw just yesterday. I went to the movies and saw the new Resident Evil movie, the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City movie. The story is about this lady going back to the city where her brother is still living she want to talk with her brother something is happening in the city blah 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 then something really started to happen to the city and they found out that the city will be destroyed at 6 a.m because something is going on this is the city where the umbrella corporation had their headquarters and labs and whatever and now they are getting rid of everything basically so we follow the adventures of uh, claire redfield her brother a few other characters the stars uh it was the star i don't remember no the people in the police and stuff like that basically this movie follows follows like like it's a mix between the first and the second game but the what i loved about the movie i liked the movie first first of all i've heard so many bad things about the movie but i liked it i had fun watching it but i think that me having fun was really related to the fact that i knew the original material of the movie i didn't play all the games i didn't play any games to be honest i just watched my brother because i was going crazy uh, crazy with the combat system the movement system i just couldn't deal with it so i watched them and i remembered many things about the games and they were all there like the first thing i want to talk about is the um, the spencer place villa spencer i don't know in english how it is <laughs> but that was amazing like the 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 place looked like the one in the video games it was super cool i loved it and the same goes for the well the police station for the little things we see in the police stations because uh there we don't explore much we don't see much we see more of the 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 spencer uh place but anyways the atmospheres of the games are there they're all are like you watch the movie and it looks like it's in the game and another thing it's about the characters because many are really different from the game i'm not talking about like let's say jill she the actress doesn't look anything about like the the one in the games but i don't care because well, first of all, this lady was beautiful and she is a, a great uh, action actress. But what made me a little bit sad was the, was the characters, the character of Jill. She, in this one, like in this, she was weird. But at the same time, she was still really tough, like the one in the game. So I was happy about that. A character that was really really different was Whisker, Wesker, I don't remember how to pronounce the name. He was the one that betrays the group and that's like something in the games. He, he comes out like a real piece of shit in this one. He, he at some point kind of regrets everything so i don't like it like you have to be a piece of shit from start to finish that is what i like <laughs> but well it happened then we had like leon in the game he is a rookie he's like it's the first couple of days on the job he's fresh off the um, the training and 
you know, in the movie, is he is basically useless. He doesn't do anything. Is if not run away. Well, he is the one that doesn't run away, to be honest. But you know, he is. He doesn't know what to do. He's not really smart. You know, uh, he's not even really into the job. I know. I don't know why. Why? He, I don't know why he is a police officer. But you know that's okay uh but uh, toward the end of the movie it becomes basically rambo and then it's okay in the game is it, it was different of course because he is a rookie but he, he is the character you play so even if it's their, his first his first three minutes with a gun in his hands he is rambo so it's it's just like that like that he is there to kill and it does in this movie not that much it happens but not that much you know but anyways it was okay it's like it's not something terrible what they did with this character then we had like the head of the, the police he was a real piece of shit bot in the game and in the movie and I was really happy about that even because the actor that plays him I don't remember the name but I love that actor <laughs> he's really good in that kind of uh, characters so I was happy about that now the, f the movie is not perfect at all like sometimes you could see that the makeup of the creatures the zombies wasn't the best but at the same time they had some close-ups that made you feel like made you see that they weren't the best makeup artists you know around and that it's weird like just don't don't make scenes where you have to do close-ups because you know it's going to ruin a bit the the scene and sometimes it was chaotic like the, mo the moment there is a moment where the lights are all out and these people is shooting and uh, the light you have for the, c the scene is the one coming out of the gun the guns when they shoot so you hear the the gun and then you see the flash and there is the fucking monster close up it's weird it's chaotic it's um not really something you can follow you just see something happen to the screen but you don't know what is going on for real so there is is confusing then there are a few scenes that could make not sense at all like the beginning when the the truck goes like near the police station and blows up and the guy inside doesn't hear anything because he's listening to music that was so stupid but the scene with the um the uh the zombie coming into the station all burning you know flames <laughs> with the music uh with the background music oh my god i was dying that was genius and in the game there are so many things like that like things that if you play the game you know about it's super cool i think i loved the movie because of that because all the reference the references uh to the games even the little things like the beginning with the man uh, chewing on a fucking um um hamburger like the one in the first in the second game the dog the lady writing um itching tasty itchy tasty on the on the window on the glass with um with blood that was mentioned in the first game like when you find a diary and this person was going crazy with the infection and at some point he wrote um he said he was starting to attack people and beating them 
uh, biting them, sorry. <laughs> and at some point his diary was just itchy, tasty, like that is genius. Or when one of the characters was talking about, like he sa she said, I was talking about if it would be worse to be eaten alive by the um, a shark or killed by a snake or something like that was the line. And you have those monsters in the game. The sharks are in the second one, I think. I think. And the 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 the, um, the snake is in the first one. It was kind of genius. I loved it. So even if with all the bad things going on, I just loved the movie because I loved all the things they took from the games. The atmosphere was identical. Like Villa Spencer was something incredible. So yes, I liked the movie. I think I am one of the few ones. So I feel lucky <laughs> because I didn't get out of the theater being upset or feeling like I was wasting time. No, it didn't happen to me. I was happy. And one thing, the one thing that I didn't really like, it was the worst thing for me, was when um the doctor decided to uh use the the virus on his on himself because he was dying anyways and he didn't want the other people to get their hand on his research basically and he did that and he started to mutate and even though he was already a monster, he was still talking and revealing stuff. And no, no, please don't. Like, you are dead. You were shot dead. Then you came back because of the virus. But no, please. You are just a monster. Don't talk. Shut the fuck up and do whatever you have to do. <laughs> so yes, that was for me. The most, the, the thing that let let down me the most, and I know it's stupid for most people, but that was what made me a little bit sad. But other than that, I had a lot of fun. I don't think it's the best movie of the year by any means, but it's not even the worst. I just uh, had fun, but I can understand if you don't like the movie, the games, you don't know anything about the games, you could end up being a little bit uh, let down by this movie. Even though, I don't know, like, as a zombie movie, is not that bad, like not incredibly bad. It's just weird and another thing is the ending like the um, the resolution of the movie was so fucking fast like it feels like you are in the middle of the movie and then it's it's uh, it, it ends it just ends <laughs> it's weird but that is something that happened in the games as well uh, and probably is something more related to the games <laughs> world but it is what it is i have the cups so that was the, my opinion not a review because i am not i don't know anything about movies you know but you know that's it <laughs>